we will see the relationship between drift current density and electric field now we won't be deriving this relation that we will do in another video but let's see the equation and understand the important relationships in drift current now let's consider the drift current due to electrons let's denote the drift current due to electrons by let's say jn so n denoting the negative charge of electrons so it is reasonable to assume that it will be proportional to the applied electric field so higher the electric field high current density and here we are considering current density due to electrons so we have said that it is proportional to the applied electric field so here we are talking about electric field in the x direction so let's say it is denoted by the x and we know that more the number of charge carriers there should be more current in the material drift current density is proportional to number of electrons because we are talking about electrons and the current density is also affected by the mobility of charge carriers so higher mobility means high current density so we can say that it is also proportional to mobility of charge carriers here electrons and we have used the symbol mu n to denote mobility of electrons so we can say that jn jn of x in this case is equal to the mobility of electrons into the number of electrons and the magnitude of its charge and the applied electric field mu is the mobility and n into q is the total charge so mobility into total charge into electric field the current density due to holes we can write it as mu p that is the mobility of holes into number of holes into charge of hole into the applied electric field so we can say that the total current density that is let's say jx to denote current density in x direction since we have assumed x direction here we can write it as the sum of electron drift current density and hole drift current density so that will be we can take q common and we have n into mu n that is number of electrons into mobility of electrons plus number of holes into mobility of holes into the applied electric field so this we can write as sigma that is conductivity into the applied electric field so the drift current density the relationship between drift current density and the electric field takes a rather simple equation that is sigma that is conductivity sigma is our conductivity into the applied electric field now comparing these two relation we can write sigma as n mu n plus p mu p into q so these two are really important these two relations here are really important and in gate perspective there were many questions from these two equations in previous years so let's quickly recap this so the current density is proportional to electric field it is proportional to the charge carriers that is the number of charge carriers and it also depends on the mobility of these charge carriers and we have also mentioned that the mobility of electrons is not same as mobility of holes and we can write the drift current density separately for electrons and holes and the total current density is equal to sum of these two and that is simply sigma into the applied electric field but in this discussion we have assumed that the sigma do not change with applied electric field or is rather constant and independent of electric field but at higher electric fields sigma tends to be a function of applied electric field also we will discuss about that in later video for normal electric fields we can say jx equal to sigma into applied electric field where sigma is the conductivity of the material now it's time that we can consider the moment of the direction of moment of charge carriers we have discussed it in an early video but we will quickly recap in which direction these electrons and holes drift in the electric field and how we can add these components to calculate total drift current density